what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest update on the Evolution X ROM this is the 25th January 2023 build yes I made a video about the Evolution X ROM earlier which included the Leica camera and stuff there was still a couple of bugs like little small bugs I would say you could not actually take a documents mode picture and stuff with the Leica camera those kind of bugs has been totally fixed with this right now and let me show you by opening the change log so here you in the device changes you will see a lot of dc dimming kind of changes and the fod kind of improvements and we have even more stuff in the rom changes you can see from right here but let me show you how is the overall experience that i have been getting with this particular rom in terms of the about section and stuff it's still almost similar we have the evolution x logo up top the android version is 13 evolution x version shows as 7.5 menu door for rafael official build the security patch here is latest of january 2023 and we have the stock kernel as the 4.14 soviet star kernel the build date here is again 25th january 2023 you can see and the maintainer is of course still stalix and the snx is showing as enforcing in the system settings we still get the system updater and you can check for updates from here and there is the gestures and stuff all the other gestures like the screenshot gesture and stuff everything is working fine you can delete the screenshot or you can share it from right here or even you can edit it out and we have this press and hold power button actions then in the system navigation gestures we still have the pill length pill radius customization all these good things are still present even the google assistant is working perfectly fine by swiping up from the corners and we have the two button three button navigation etc but i have to say in terms of the nx camera or the leica camera experience it has been improved a lot and here right now let me just take a quick photo and as you can see took the photo almost instantaneously and yeah the quality of the pictures i have shown you if you want to see the samples you can watch the previous video from the cards or the description now let me show you the documents mode which has been improved and fixed if i switch it to the enhanced and if i just try to click a photo just like this let me actually show you it opens this particular window this is like the miui gallery kind of thing and here you can actually change the corners so just very slightly i have changed the corners and if i hit right it will show saving then if you open the picture and as you can see it did take the picture in the documents mode perfectly fine i would say and the colors are popping out because i took that in the enhanced mode so yeah the documents mode right now is actually working perfectly fine and that's great to see even the 48 megapixel mode and stuff if you want to see all of those yes it take the pictures perfectly fine in the info it will show you as a 48 megapixel photo so yeah 48 megapixel mode and stuff is working perfectly great and even in the portrait mode if i open the front camera yes it is working fine but let me tell you sometimes if your camera is glitching out or stick into the black screen and stuff that's because you are using high refresh rate this rom does have 102 hertz refresh rate support so if you're using more than like 72 hertz i would say right now i have been using with the 72 hertz there is no lags or stutters in the ui once you are in the 72 hertz i would say everything is just buttery smooth you will not face any kind of issues whatsoever but if in case you are using 100 plus hertz make sure you change the camera refresh rate with the app refresh rate kind of thing to like 60 to 72 hertz that should work perfectly fine you can even shoot pro mode 4k 60 fps videos and stuff all those things are working great over here you should not worry about it now let me tell you how is the overall experience well everything is just very smooth and i haven't had any issues whatsoever while daily driving pretty much but yeah some minor issues that i have faced i'll talk about that later but here let me show you in the quick setting panel light theme the quick setting panel stays dark still this is how it is so if you don't like this thing you will probably feel a little weird but yeah even in the light theme the quick setting panel stays dark in evolution x that's how it is but in the battery settings right now they have included the charging cycles the current battery capacity design battery capacity all these things even the temperature you can see right here so i have a new battery that's why this is showing as 36 cycles but if your battery is old it will probably show about 400 500 plus depending on your battery and yeah again this is a new battery so the battery life that i have been getting is like superb i have got about eight hours plus of screen on time here it shows in the aku battery app and even for the screen off you can see it's about more than six days so about a week of standby time you can say and even the combined use it's about more than a day or one and a half days and in the health section if you want to see my battery health i have done about four sessions as of right now and it shows as 95 percent battery health so differently this is a new battery so the battery life that i have been getting is amazing now let's talk about charging well if you use the box supply charger which is a 18 watt fast charger it does make the device a little warm to the touch but it does not affect the device at all but if you are using a 33 watt fast charger let me talk about it a little bit more here i have faced a issue i was like actually using the device while i was using 33 watt fast charger and i did actually charge from like below 40 to like 100 percent i would say 
and that's when I have faced one issue the device was getting hot I was using the device while it happened and actually let me tell you I was on a call and the call suddenly hang up I was just like worried what's happening but then it actually showed the phone is getting too warm warning and after that it was not showing a network bar and even the geo sim if I go into the network settings it used to show that network unavailable or something like that I'll show you some screenshots when the device gets too hot or about 44 degree plus Celsius when the battery temperature actually hits 44 degree plus Celsius the sim card will just not work for some reason but after it cools down after the full charge the sim network actually came back and this is the one problem that I was talking about this problem I have faced otherwise everything was completely fine so yeah this happened again with the 33 watt charger which is not the box supplied charger that is a separate charger which I got from the Redmi Note 10 Pro's box. If you use an 18W fast charger that should work perfectly fine but so I would not suggest to actually use the device while you are doing the 30W fast charging. Except for that it still has the Evolution X kind of launcher so you are getting the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and stuff and all the widgets like the battery widget and stuff is working fine you get the Bluetooth battery widget right here and if you are wondering about the volume panel this is how it looks like you can switch the output device just like this everything is just flying with this UI and yeah overall the performance of the UI I'm just very impressed overall for daily driving this is a great ROM in my opinion and of course the always on display clock and stuff is working fine let me show you here this is how it looks like I have been using this particular clock but you can change it up you can change the styles between very much like other options I would say and yeah the finger scanner kind of speed has improved quite a lot let me show you so I'm just tapping the finger scanner and as you can see it has unlocked even the screen of your body works perfectly fine you should not worry about it at all now talking about the face unlock let me just show you from the lock screen if I swipe up and point the device towards my face and as you can see it has unlocked so face unlock is working perfectly fine you should not worry about it and here even the app lock is working great if you open a lock tab it shows like this and once you tap the finger scanner as you can see the app particularly unlocks so again this is a part two kind of video so I'm not gonna show you every detail of it it still has the advanced reboot and stuff if you want to see that and here in the like display settings and stuff you will get multiple things like the outdoor bright sun mode anti flicker mode everything and yes the de streaming has been improved earlier it used to do a lot of weird things once you enable night light with de streaming but here let me actually show you I have the anti flicker mode turned on and here if I just enable the night light as you can see the display does not do weird things even if I increase or decrease brightness this is with night light and the anti flicker mode turned on by the way as you can see I just turned it on again and yeah the display does not go bonkers once you do all of these things the night light stays on earlier the night light used to like go disabled or something like that so yeah right now it has been fixed but let me actually show you once you have this night light enabled if you use the finger width scanner that's when the night light will disable for a couple of seconds it's the transition is very smooth let me actually show you here as you can see the night light has disabled in the finger width scanner area because I have to tap it and once I tap and unlock the device as you can see the night light comes back so this is a very good feature I would say so definitely the night light and the anti flicker kind of things has been improved quite a lot and of course in terms of the screen recording we do have this HEVC screen recording and we have this device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time all these good things are still present and in terms of wallpapers and styles these are the like wallpapers that you will get in the change wallpaper section we are right now getting this feathers option and we have this on device wallpaper this is for the evolution x wallpaper and again you have the wallpaper colors and the basic colors up to 16 colors you can choose for each option so that's great and we have the system icon packs you can change and look at the icons from right here even for the fonts you have plethora of fonts over here you should not worry about it of course on top in the evolver section it shows its boot loop time <laughs> it's funny but yeah it doesn't boot loop with any other settings I have tried and in the themes we have these kind of theming options the color source and stuff you can customize then we have the dark theme the custom clock like color and we have this icon packs and stuff then we have the lock screen clock font changing option and you can definitely go with any other font that you are liking and they definitely look good let me actually show you with this just randomly switching and yeah just notice how beautiful it looks and it switches like super fast in my opinion and even the pickup gesture and stuff I have tried is working fine let me show you if I just lock the device with the always on display turned off and if I just pick the device up on my hand as you can see the pickup gesture has worked perfectly fine so yeah no issues whatsoever with all these gestures and everywhere it's just battery smooth experience and of course you still have the safety net passing right out of the box so I have been using backing apps without any issues the Volti calls works great 
and we have the DRM info as L1, you should not worry about it. Even the Google Photos Unlimited Backup is working perfectly fine here. Again, talking about overall performance, I did not face any issues even for the Twitter scrolling and stuff. If I show you that, it's just very smooth, I would say. There are no lags or stutters at all everywhere while scrolling or switching between other apps and stuff. It's just very smooth experience in my opinion. And here are the end of turn Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build, which is the 25th January 2023 build. So let me in the comments what do you guys think about the latest build of Evolution X ROM. Well, in my opinion, this has been one of the best ROMs that I have tried based on Android 13 on the Redmi K20 Pro. And Evolution X is definitely back at it again with perfectly working Leica camera and stuff. And we have multiple amount of refresh rate and we have the battery charging cycles back. Everything is like almost back and it is almost a dream come true but i would definitely love to know your opinion about the rom and i would say yes there are other options like the cherry swipes and stuff but they do not include other things like the leica camera and stuff are not present so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet guys this is tito from kdindex signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now